<laughs> yes, baby. That is what I am talking about. I just got done of watching the premiere of Dragon Ball Daima. Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball period has never looked this good in any iteration you can see the recaps in the show dragon ball z dragon ball kai the freaking dragon ball super broly movie when they have the recap from dragon ball going into the boot socket into the broly movie even that does not pale in comparison to what they did for dragon ball daima we're going to give my original impressions and then we're going to go into spoiler talk for this i know i'm talking like i'm hyped i'm a fanboy hey say what you want this needs to be said this is akira toriyama's last project and we need to respect it this first episode was peak i ain't gonna lie it was peak it, it, it had lore building it had some of the best animation dragon ball has ever seen people like holy crap this is what happens when you actually put the budget toei had the budget they're using that one piece money and the akira toriyama dragon ball money and they're putting it into daima and honestly i cannot respect that enough as a dragon ball z fan a long time rock the dragon dragon ball fan if you guys know where that's from hey that's what's up if you guys know me listen i'm critical on dragon ball in certain aspects but at its core on first episode one this is actual dragon ball this is more dragon ball than dragon ball z in the peak animation with this recap good dude I, mean, I gotta talk about it good lord if you thought dragon ball super looked bad bro dragon ball super looks bad compared to this and that's a good thing. As someone that's been a fan of Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball for the, all these, I've never thought it would look this good. The music is good. The, the new lore that's come out was freaking good. It's good. It's people. It's so good. It seems like it's fan fiction. This is a new area in Dragon Ball that we've never been to. We've been hearing about it for a while from Akira Toriyama. Rest in peace, Akira Toriyama. From Toyotaro. From all these people. It's good. Like... I'm gonna say you gotta watch it because this is I'm, I like giving my initial thoughts that it is it, it hasn't even been 10 minutes yet like ridiculous it hadn't even 10 minutes yet me coming back in this room let's get on to the spoiler talk overall overview the animation is great you know the storytelling is good going back to see actual Dragon Ball content after all these years is really good for me ultimately this is gonna get a, a 10 out of 10 I want to say give me a 9 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10 only reason I'm going to say give it a 9 out of 10 because I wanted to see a little bit more. That's just my bias. For what they're doing in this, I give it higher than a 10 out of 10, technically. Everything was peak. It's perfect. This is like a theoretical release. It was like 30-something minutes, dude. 32 minutes, let alone 28 minutes. It was longer than usual. The build-up and the setup was worth it. Guys, I'm telling you, the build-up and setup is really worth it. So that's just an overview. If you guys don't want to sit here for the actual review... You guys can go, but now we're going into spoiler talk because we have a lot to talk about, people. I remember some of this stuff. I will get some clarification on the next video when episode two comes out, and then we can go on from there. So, time for the spoiler talk. So, we're just going to give you a play-by-play -play of what's going on, and then we're ultimately going to get into what happened at the end. I may get these names wrong. We start off in the actual demon realm. We know Dragon Ball Diamond was coming out with the demon realm. We've heard about the demon realm from Dragon Ball Bora. And you see these two characters. You see the Supreme Kai, I think Degasu, and the, I want to say the new king of the demon realm or self-proclaimed king of the demon realm. I I may be getting these names wrong. Trust me, guys. I, I can't remember their names because I've only seen it one time. I should have done my research. But so we'll say the Supreme Kai and the self-proclaimed demon king uh show starts off where you actually see like you saw in the trailers where these two characters are looking at the boo saga and this is when you see the narrator come in you talk about what's going on with the boo saga you see goku coming from the very beginning going into the saiyan saga you see rad man you that's the first time you've seen raditz in so long raditz hadn't looked so good either you see the events of dragon ball z play out and they're going to say hey what is this what, what happened to the board what happened to majin buu so these people in the demon realm, because you guys don't know Majin Buu, you know Majin Buu's history, but Demon King Deborah came from the demon realm, or Dabuda, I should say. He was the king, and he's been controlled by Bobbity. These two characters don't like that. They want to they usurp the throne and take control of Majin Buu. You see, they say, hey, what's going on? Why, why are these people in this universe so powerful? We, we got to do something. And he's like, you can't believe this. Hey, they're, they're mortals. They, can't, they shouldn't be this strong. Deborah gets killed. Bobbity gets killed. Majin Buu gets taken out. They're like, oh my gosh, you know what we can do now? The Su Supreme Kai says, hey, now you're the Demon King. Let's, yeah, you're the Demon King, bro. He's trying to up him up. He's trying to big him up. They're like, yeah, yeah, boy. But in doing so, when he's talking about this, yes, now I'm the Demon King, what am I going to do? I got to, I got to, you know, I got to, I got to be the man. 
that he's, he's sitting there amping them up. And you see another character come out named Arinsu. And at this point in time, I may be getting this wrong because this Supreme Kai and Arinsu, they're brother and sister. They're 100% brother and sister. And if I remember correctly, he said my older brother was the Supreme Kai or my brother is the Supreme Kai. Cause I'm assuming all the Supreme Kais are all brothers and sisters. And uh, cause they come from the tree. If you guys don't know Dragon Ball Lord, they all come from a tree. So I'm assuming that's what they do that. But them three are related. And this is before talking about Beerus and all stuff. They, oh, what are we gonna do with her projects? Cause they're talking about Majin Buu and doing whatever, you know? Cause there, of course you guys know the rooms. I'm not gonna talk about those unofficial rumors from certain individuals. We're not gonna hear talk about that. But my prize. So she goes back and says, hey, we, we want to do this. We got to get rid of these people. We don't want them to stand in our way. So we don't want them to stand in our way. We got to use the Dragon Balls. But in doing so, when they're talking about Dragon Balls, we finally learn that in the Demon Realm, they actually have their own set of Dragon Balls. And of course, this first episode, I'm going to tell you these guys right now, this first episode is just going to be me talking through it. I'm not going to put any leaked images from the episode in this because I don't know how how devastating this is actually going to be you know they're going to probably be like oh we're going to take your video down for stuff like that i'm not going to put any actual official leaks so we're just going to be talking about it so they're talking to say hey we demon has their own dragon balls but they only have a set of three dragon balls and it's hey if you want to do this we got to get them right we have to use the earth's dragon balls in universe seven in doing so we learned that there's another namekian that comes out is hey they have their own namekian since he's part of the dragon clan if you guys don't know, the Dragon Clan is the Namekians, the group of Namekians that actually make the Dragon Balls. Keep that in mind because there's something, some actual cool, interesting lore bits that we know that came out of this episode. We're going to talk about that a little bit later. So we see the new Namek comes out. His name is Neva. It's a new Namekian. He's an older Namekian, but we know he's very, very skilled because he made the Demon Realms Dragon Balls. So they get him. Say, hey, we got to go to the actual, uh, we got to go to the real world, the Dragon Ball world. And what they had an interesting tidbit was really, really cool. They get him, and you see that the, their Dragon Balls are guarded by, you know, there's three, like, mechanicals that he created to guard the Dragon Balls of the Demon Realm. They're guarding the Dragon Balls, and hey, we got to get out of here. We got to take care of these Universe 7 guys so we can actually do what we do. We don't want them coming after us or assume they can come out because they, at the point of their note, they can't go through dimensions. Uh, before that, they got the Namek dude. There was a guy, Glorio, that you saw in the trailers. Cool. He's a, he's a guy that looks kind of like that one character from Dragon Ball Universe. He's sitting there wise, and hey, we can't, we can't let this happen. So he's sitting there lurking and he goes away. But we know he's going to come and meet Goku later on in Supreme Kai go on their own adventure. Now, so they get the Namekian, they get in the ship and then they fly off and you actually see how they actually transfer dimensions or yeah, transfer dimensions into the lower realm and get to the actual Dragon Ball world. You see this giant mechanical fish looking thing with big eyes and he says, hey, what's the password? You sit in there, you get in that, you go inside his mouth and you see some different area you go inside his mouth you go inside his mouth and you see some kind of inner earth kind of thing you see oh these different openings and he asks you hey this universe has very been popular why do you want to go here someone else took this and they figured out who i'm not gonna say who because if you guys watch around you know they do that they go there goku and the crew is technically at, like they always do goku and the crew is at bulma's house that you saw in the actual trailers they're celebrating trunks's ninth birthday and they say hey trunks is still small because you're trying to get the timeline mapped out Trunks is still small. Trunks and Goten are still small. Trunks is nine years old, so it was literally right after the Buu Saga because Trunks was eight, Goten was seven. Well, at the party, you, Goku notices that Supreme Kai and Kabito are there and they're not fused, which is very, very weird because you guys know at the end of Dragon Ball Z, they were still fused. And we we're trying to figure out how did they get unfused? This actually reveals that they got unfused. They actually went to Majin Buu and asked him to get sucked up because, hey, they realized that the actual Patara fusion is dispelled by a gas in Majin Buu's body, which has not been talked about, but we knew something was actually going on because we see it. How they unfused the Patara because it's supposed to be permanent. They actually gave an actual in-lore answer and actually solved it. So, hey, they're unfused now. And what you guys don't know, if you guys are just trying to skeptical on the colors of why Kabito looks like that in Supreme Kai, they actually went back to the manga colorization of these characters' colors. That's what they actually look like. The anime from Dragon Ball Z took some liberties and actually give you the actual outfit colors. So don't don't pay no mind to that. The the game from the Demon World arrived and they meet Dende and Mr. Popo. And we haven't seen Mr. Popo in forever, but good to see him. And then we learned one thing. He's like, hey, where's your Dragon Balls? I want to use Dragon Balls. And he's like, hey, what are you doing here? He's like, aren't you Supreme Kai? He's like, yeah, I'm Supreme Kai. But what, 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 do you, what do you care? And then you see a Namek come out. 
the old Namek. And then he actually talks to him. He gives you a guy's a lore bit. Like this whole bit, you get an actual lore when I was talking about earlier. We finally learn that the actual Namekians, because the guy said, I haven't seen Namekian in thousands of years. You actually learn that the Namekians come from the actual demon realm. That's why it's called Demon King Piccolo. Their origin is actually from the Demon Realm. So we have concrete definitive answer. Because if you have pointy ears in Dragon Ball, you're coming from the Demon Realm, especially if you're in the Mechian. So it actually ties into what Tambourine and all of them, they're offshoots. They're actual demons. They're kind of like low-key gods, so to say. So, you know, when we ever figure out what Demon King Zalama looks like, what he's probably going to be a freaking Namekian, which is going to be freaking cool. You know, got to make a Super Shinra. He's probably a Namekian. Most likely, or some supernatural Namekian. He comes out and says, hey, can't you gather all the Dragon Balls? We can't do that because it hasn't been over a year. He's like, nah, I got you. He said, I got this. Oh, Namekian went out, flex his power, flex his magic, summons all the Dragon Balls that are stone. He summons the Dragon Balls, brings them back, and he's like, oh my gosh. He said, I'm not going to tell you the password, though. You can't use them. And he's like, oh, don't worry. We took notes. Freaking Supreme Cop, the Demon said, we took notes. So I summoned Shift. Goes Summer Shinra, he tries to attack. Then they tries to attack him, hits him in the neck, knocks him clean out. And Mr. Popo's like, oh, I can't do this. If it was Team Four Star, Mr. Popo would have clapped him. You know what I'm saying? But to turn the Z fighters, everyone in this world young. But you had to give specifics. Hey, are they going to be kids? Are they going to be infants and babies? You have to be very specific with Shinra. Fast forward, the wish is granted. You go back to Goku and Vegeta at the party. Goku and Vegeta sitting there sparring, which is some of the cleanest animation I've ever seen, of course, again. Goku and Vegeta sitting there finding base mode. Boom, boom, boom. Going blow for blow, toe for toe. Cool, amazing Dragon Ball Z greatness. Boom, the music kicks in and they're finally changing into children. And that's where the episode ends with this cool, glorious soundtrack. If you guys haven't heard it, listen to Jaka John or John Jakan. I'm sorry, it's a good song. You guys know I'm going to be bumping it in the background. And hopefully, get a lo fi version. You know what I'm saying? This is the rise of Dragon Ball again. And plus, this is the rise of Dragon Ball again. We know we was in mourning earlier this year. No, Spark and Zero is already out right now. And you guys should play this. Very, very good right now. We're in the rise of Dragon Ball or in the rebuilding of Dragon Ball. And this is the hype beast that's coming out with it. And ultimately, people, what I got to tell you this. I got to tell you, if you're skeptical about this show, I honestly give you a chance to watch it. Please watch Dragon Ball Daima. This episode one was released in theaters, by the way. So people want to say, oh, the quality is only good because it's in theaters. The quality is actually impeccable throughout the series, as far as I know, because they spent more time with it. They actually put a lot of budget and, and money and time into this. So if you guys are skeptical, take my word for it. Listen, I'm Dragon Ray for a reason. Dragon Ball Z, Rayquaza, Dragon Ray, it goes hand in hand. Give the show a chance, and hopefully we can have some more content on this because... That Namekian thing was a bomb dropped. I wasn't expecting that. We knew it, but it's kind of confirmed now. Like, share, subscribe, and peace for some more gaming and anime content. I'm on the wrong channel. Stay tuned for some more anime content on this. All right, y'all. I'm out. <laughs>